This is Dave, aka the Guru, and another tutorial using Game Salad. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at using the new feature in 1.25, the Chart Boost Reward videos. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to open this little scene that I've made, a little test project to uh, demonstrate uh, the videos and how we work in, uh, with them and retrieve the information. So now let's go ahead up to the attributes pane, the general attributes pane, and we're going to come up and we're going to look under the add rewards here. And so what we're going to see is there are two values here. Now this first value is a value that is filled in after the ad is viewed and it rewards your players with whatever value you put in here. Uh, this can be coins or lives or if you want to trigger unlocking a feature or whatever you would just fill a value in here on your chart boost uh, account and this information gets fed from the chart boost server and fills in this value this integer in here and um, when the video is watched uh, if the video is not watched then this value will not get will not get filled in now this name value down here uh, basically it fills in the name of the provider that you're using uh, in case in the future um, I believe you can use TapQ uh, as well now which I believe is what it's called and so this name value just basically fills in the name of the provider that's feeding the information um, I'm not quite sure why they gave it to us this way um, I would have preferred uh, the value or the name of the reward but this is what they've done so basically I don't know what you do with that so basically the only real uh, thing we're interested in looking at here is the uh, is the value so let's go ahead and let's open um, this reward uh, actor that I've made and what I'm doing is I'm using the pause behavior to uh, trigger uh, the ad and so up in here what I'm doing is I just have a simple rule and I'm looking at the uh, game uh, add reward and the value and I'm saying when it's greater than zero go ahead and change my attribute game.coins to the game add reward value plus my game.coins and then I'm saying go ahead and unpause the game and bring the player back to the game and so with this rule what I'm doing is I'm I'm providing a way for the player to unpause the game should they decline to watch the video as you'll see when we when I show you it working on the device when you decline the video it um, it stays on the pause scene so you'll need to have a button on there to uh, have your a way for your players who decline to watch the video to go back into the game as well so let's go ahead into my little pause uh, actor, which is uh, the button I have on the scene. And we're going to see in the pause behavior, I just have a simple rule. Touch is pressed. Go to my pause scene and then play a reward video ad. And so now there are a couple different ways we can use a reward ad. We can use it using the pause game um, behavior. And we can also use it with the change scene behavior. And we can also use it with the reset game behavior as well as the reset scene behavior. And those are the different behaviors that allow us to trigger <clears throat> reward video ads, which basically these are all um, uh, ones where we're going to go that are forcing the game off the scene or forcing the game into a scene refresh or whatever which can trigger a reward video ad probably most common ones that people will use is either a change scene or a pause but you never know if I, I tend not to use reset games and reset scenes um, I pretty much handle my own uh, resetting usually uh, sometimes I'll use the reset scene if it's convenient, but rarely do I use the reset game uh, anymore, but to each his own. So those are the different behaviors that we can go ahead and do that. And then basically I have a display here and it's going to show me my reward value attribute. It's going to show me the, that, that name that comes up in there and the text 
uh, attribute game add reward name name uh, it is actually not the reward name um, it is going to be actually the provider name so let me reward it says reward name but is it is not the reward uh, name uh, in there it is actually the provider name and I'm going to make a suggestion to uh, on the slack group to have them change that um, because that is not the true that's not the case um, it is actually the provider uh, name as from what we've been able to clarify from them and then I'm going to display my game.coins total so we can see it being added uh, to that so let's go ahead real quick and let's look at uh, chart boost and so basically here on chart boost what you're going to see is I'm in my chart boost dashboard and I'm selected the app um, that I'm linking because you need to have uh, to use any kind of ad testing uh, in chart boost or whatnot you need to uh, have your uh, app set up and you don't need to have your app uh, on iTunes or any of that you just basically need to have created a unique provisioning profile for that app and be doing an ad hoc build that uses that that uh, app ID and so you'll come in and you can set that up on chart boost because basically chart boost is looking for the uh, app ID uh, of the app and just have chart boost uh, selected in the publishing system and have your information that you need for general chart boost um, IDs and such placed in the services setting on the publishing system I'm not going to go into how chart boost works for this I'm assuming that most of you use, who are using reward ads understand how chart boost works I'm going to just go ahead and show you the things related to this feature and so basically we're under I've clicked on the reward video under my app settings here and so what we've got is the the currency name that you can put in here and then this here this 50 this is the reward per view and this is the value that's going to get filled into that um, attribute that I showed you so you have put in whatever amount you want here uh, in there don't make a campaign yet when you're testing you're just going to want to go ahead and go to your basic settings uh, and turn on testing and set the amount of minutes you want to run uh, for testing. There's a pre-roll. This is basically what you'll see and a post-roll message. Um, that So you would. this is where this coins uh, part come in here. Uh, so if I change this to health, let's say, see, see how I'm highlighting it? So if I change this to health, you would it would say you earn 50 health or whatever it is you're offering so as you change this this name here it's going to change in your pre-roll and post-roll um, things that come up now the um, from what I found doing my testing was that um, I wasn't seeing this pre-roll and post-roll uh, message um, which is fine. Uh, I'm sure it just has something to do with the fact that I was just doing a test run um, on Chart Boost, and I wasn't do it, it wasn't an actual uh, video. It was feeding me or whatever. Um, the other thing is that you can change this little icon here. I actually added this in here, so watch. I'll just turn it, return it to default. Uh, you can see it goes back to this other coin. I, you can actually upload an image to put in this spot whatever it is if you wanted to put a little health pack if you're doing health or whatever you're doing you can have this little 80 by 80 uh, pixel icon that you can add uh, over here that will show up in your pre and post row uh, messages in this spot right here okay so let me just go ahead and save that and so the other thing that you've that you want to know is once you've turned on testing um, on chart boost it can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes for it to start v feeding you test ads so you know just go ahead I would go ahead and turn on the testing and then go off and do something else um, and then kind of in 20 minutes come back they say it can take up to an hour but I've found that it's only been usually 15 or 20 minutes when it'll start 
uh, feeding me ads uh, to my test device. So don't get all freaked out when it doesn't start sending you stuff right away. It does take a little bit for things to things to get rolling there. So now that we've been through all that, let's go ahead and let me bring up my uh, let me bring up Reflector, which I have my iPad uh, on there. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just demonstrate how uh, it works and show you a uh, reward ad and such. So what I'm going to do is just touch this and it's going to bring me to a pause menu and uh, it's going to play a video. So this would this is where your your uh, exit roll out or whatever would 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 show up. So I'm just gonna click on this little, and we're gonna see it's added added my it's put 50 in that variable, showing the ad provider, and it is putting 50 coins in there, and it auto paused back out. So let me just show you. Let me bring it up again, and when I click on this, this is like denying it, but it's gonna just bring me to the chart boost website. Um, so let's go ahead and bring the app back up. And so I'm going to click out of this. And what you're going to see is, is it didn't return any value in here because I rejected the video. And then there's my little actor I have on my pause scene. So when I click on that here, it'll bring me back. So let's go ahead and do it one more time and watch the whole video. And so let's click out of it, and you're going to see that it's going to go ahead and add some more to my coins as I watched another video uh, on there. So basically, that's how it works. And if you see on here, if you come under advanced settings, you can get rid of the uh, pre and post roll um, confirmations. Uh, if you don't want those on there, you can just click off of these, and and you won't uh, you won't receive them at all. So anyways, this is Dave the Guru. This is how you use Chart Boost reward video ads in your game. I'll see you in the next video.